let's process our raw image files that we've brought in from taking those many, many pictures of our sculpture that we want to 3D scan using photogrammetry. So here's our beautiful image set. I'd like to actually look at these in bridge because maybe there's a few that I can go ahead and uh, get rid of. We might not want to delete them, but we can get rid of them. So I'm going to go up a uh, directory and go to browse in bridge. And let's see, here's bridge. So now I can come in and like reject some of the ones that aren't working out. I can reject these. These look okay. This is totally out of focus. It might do more harm than good. Some of these. Okay. I remember taking these in a hurry. We had a lot to talk about that uh, I hope may have been useful. Okay, so let's say that's good enough. It's really the bare minimum of number of images we'd want to use, but we've got 26 here. That's going to have to work. So in Bridge, I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to hit Enter on the keyboard. It asks me, do I want to open 26 files? It's going to be okay. We're just going to open them in Camera Raw. It's kind of a sub program inside of Photoshop. But what we're going to try to do is pull as much information as we can out of these raw files so we can give our photogrammetry software um, the most information possible. So I'm going to click on this first image and I'm going to come over here to Highlights and I'm going to bring this down just so we have no areas that are blown out if possible blown out meaning like completely white and then in our shadows we're going to raise this up and see if we can make sure we don't have any shadows that are clipped either another thing i'm going to do is we set a constant white balance when we were photographing but because this is going to become an image texture on our 3d model i also want to kind of control what that's going to look like so this whole image looks a little green a little orange so maybe it's a time we can play with our white balance a little bit here. So we've made some adjustments. We've changed the white balance, the color temperature. We've totally brought the highlights back. We've pushed the shadows up. I'm going to say this looks all right. So I'm going to right click on this image that we've changed and go to copy edit settings. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to right click maybe on the next one over and say paste edit settings. And you can see that populates on through all of our images. Okay, instead of hitting open, I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to go back to bridge. I, I like using bridge because now we can see all the changes there. And the next thing I'm going to do is select everything again, now in bridge, and go to tools, Photoshop and go to Image Processor. So with Image Processor from Bridge, we're taking only files from Bridge, and I want to save them in the same location. That's going to be fine. By default, you might have some different things checked or populated in here. We want to make sure we're just saving as a JPEG with a quality of 12, and we're going to uncheck resize to fit. We don't want to scale these down. We want them to be as big of files as possible, and we're going to hit Run. Okay, a little ghost is going to take over my computer for a moment. Change these into JPEGs. It's the fastest way to do it. And let's go back to our folder where these are kept. And you can see Adobe Raw has created all of these little XMP files. It's just information. Um, you may or may not see them depending on how you have your uh, file explorer set up. And here we've got a JPEG folder that's going to, about to get filled with images. Okay, we've got all 26 images in here. Now maybe I want to do some final edits. And yeah, let's take this one out. I think the subject is so very not in the frame that I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, this one's pushing it too, but let's go ahead and, and say that's good. So here's our image set. Now we're going to load this onto flash drive and external hard drive and take this to uh, the library to use their works workstation to use um, a software called Metashape to process these files into a 3D model. 